welcome back to my channel, sports fans. Okay, I'm on my way back from doing something in the car. Let's do this. So, oh my God, it's a, it's a pot brewing right here. Woo, Chauncey Billup makes the Hall of Fame. And a lot of people are saying they have no problem with Chauncey Billups making the Hall of Fame. So we're going to talk about this and we're going to talk about Bill Lambert and um, Sean Kemp and people like this. But let, let, let's first understand that. <laughs> to me, why Chauncey Billups is in the um, Hall of Fame and people like Kevin Johnson, Sean Kemp, Bill Lambert, and people like uh, Kyrie Irving, and who is this? The White Howard didn't make the top 75. Kyrie Irving and the White Howard did not make the top 75. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. LeBron has his hand in everything. I'm trying to tell you, it's not about basketball anymore. It's about money. Okay, and we all know Chauncey Billups worked for ESPN. I don't know if he still does. I haven't seen him for a minute, but I really don't even watch that anyways. But Chauncey Billups used to work for ESPN. So, right, LeBron is affiliated with Clutch Sports in ESPN, right? So, it's no surprise that Chauncey Billups got in there because now we can put another Hall of Famer that LeBron faced in the Eastern Conference Finals in 2007, right? Besides bench warmer um, Chris Webber. And I made a video on this before. I said that Dwight Howard is not in the Hall of Fame. I mean, the top 75 because of LeBron James. Yep. They do not want this guy in the top 75 because this will make LeBron look bad as far as him being on that 2020 bubble championship team. But we all know Dwight Howard is a Hall of Famer. When we look at Dwight Howard, one championship, I think he was eight times all NBA, um, five times first defensive team. I think one time uh, second defensive team, um, two times blocks leader, five time rebound champ, and three in a row defensive player of the year. And it was two years in a row when he led the uh, league in blocks and rebounds. And this guy's not in the top 75. Why? Because he beat LeBron James. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, this guy not only beat LeBron James in 2009, and then Kobe, what, they beat him like 4-1, right, in, in, in the finals? But he then go, goes helps LeBron get an NBA championship, which was a super team with him, AD, um, and Dwight Howard. That's a super team, right? They all were number one. Uh, what were they? Yes, they were all number one franchise players of other teams. That's that's a super team. What, what else do you want? So, you know, they're going to make sure Dwight Howard doesn't make that top 75, and he didn't. That's a crime. And because you, have, you know how many top 75 players don't have championships and don't have any statistical titles? No defensive player of the years. <laughs> Less all-star appearances than, than Dwight Howard. I forget how many he had. I think he had like eight or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, less all NBAs than Dwight Howard. I mean, bro, that's a crime. And if we look at it, Dwight Howard has more statistical titles than LeBron James. LeBron James has two statistical titles in 21 seasons. Dwight Howard had, what do you have, seven? And three defensive players of the year in a row. I mean, this is, this is nuts. And people, you know, like I said, don't get mad at me. But I said he was the modern-day Bill Russell. That's what he was. You know, if we leave out the championships, you know, we're talking about defense and rebounding. Right? Defense and rebounding. This guy was making all NBA even when he went to go play with um, Kobe. It, it, it's a crime. But, you know, LeBron James in Clutch Wars is going to make sure he didn't get in that top 75. And Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie Irving. They made sure Kyrie Irving did not get in that top 75. That's a crime. Because he saved LeBron's legacy. Okay. And then 
they only got one game against the Warriors because of Kyrie. Kyrie outplayed Curry in that whole series. LeBron couldn't shut down. Well, uh, in 2017, LeBron couldn't shut down Durant. I I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm about to come out on a video. I'm about to put a video out on this. And we're going to talk about LeBron. I'm trying to tell you, if this guy plays any defense for the whole season, for the whole game, he's trash. He's done. He won't be able to make it. I'm trying to tell you. This guy is so one-dimensional. <sighs> so, Sean Kemp. He's not a Hall of Famer, six-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA second team. Wow. Bill Lambeer, what was he, four or five-time All-Star? Back-to-back -back champion? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You guys look at these guys and from the past, and you don't understand how high the bar was set how much competition was in the past in the 80s the 90s the competition of making an all NBA team and make the all star team was it, it was tough you take a guy like LeBron James and you stick him in the 80s and 90s huh I, I just don't know I, I, I just don't know. He's not going to be able to carry, travel, flop, cry, um, drop to the basket and do all these layups without resistance. He's going to have to have moves to get around defenders. And the 90s had great defenders. So, I'm, I'm being serious. LeBron would be lucky to be a Hall of Fame player back in the day. In the 80s and 90s. No spacing on the floor. And one thing about LeBron, <laughs> this guy done overstayed his welcome in the NBA. In the NBA is, I don't know if LeBron has put money in Adam Silver's pocket at this point. But we're going to continue to lower the bar to let certain Hall of Famers get into the NBA. And I keep saying, yes, Curry is great. Curry had a great career. He's still going. But if you would have took Clay off that team, what would Curry ever be? We saw what Michael Jordan was before Pippen showed up. Let, let's just take championships out of it, right? Let's just take champ. We're not talking about championships. We can go down the line with these guys, right? We, we saw... Uh, I, I'm not going to say Durant because we really never saw this guy play by himself without a great co-star. We saw Michael Jordan do it. We saw um, David Robinson play without a good co-star. Uh, co We're talking about Hall of Fame player for, for like years. We saw, um, let me see. We saw Jordan. We saw Barkley. We saw Robinson. We saw Hakeem. Um, we actually saw Le LeBron James, right? We saw LeBron James. Um, I don't think he really had any good help until, psh, what, 2009? Yeah, about 2009 when Ben Wallace came there. Um, Curry only played, what, a couple seasons or one season without Clay, And they both were shooting 40% their entire career, 40% 40, 40 plus their entire career i'm just trying to tell you he will be a good player but i do not think he will be this top 75 player that everybody is talking about he just wouldn't be because you would just need to d this guy up and who's he gonna throw to to shoot all them threes because i keep trying to tell you without clay there's no curve and people keep talking, oh, Curry changed the game. No, Curry and Clay changed the game. And nobody is playing like Clay and Curry. It was just those two at the perimeter bombing away threes. If you stop one, the other one's bombing away. If you stop the other one, the other one's bombing away. It was not four guys sitting at the three point line 
for Golden State. So a lot of these guys, like Clay, uh, Curry, nobody really knows what this guy would be if Clay would have never showed up. We saw what Giannis was about. We're seeing what Joker is all about without a Hall of Fame teammate. Um, like I said, we haven't seen the same for for Kevin Durant. I'm not trying to say the guy can't ball, but you know, we got to hold people to a, a, a standard. We saw how good Patrick Ewing was without a Hall of Fame teammate. Who else can we name? Um, I don't know. We never seen how how good Chauncey Billups really was without a, a Hall of Fame teammate, right? I don't think he was that good in in, in the nineties, in the early two thousands. I don't think he was that good. Until he he played with Ben Wallace, um, I don't know, man. This, this is this is bugged out right here. Like I said, they're they're gonna make sure Draymond Green gets into the Hall of Fame. Make sure, and Clay he should have been in the top seventy five. That that's a that that's a travesty right travesty right there. He should have made that top seventy five because without Clay, there's no Curry. There's no Curry. I mean, I, I, I'm starting to doubt a lot of guys when I talk about this. I'm not gonna say no names, but a lot of these dudes we never got to see how good they was. When they didn't have a, a top 75 or a Hall of Fame teammate, I'm not going to name no names. All I'm going to say is I'm going to revert to back what I was saying because a lot of people don't understand what I'm saying when I say, how can you be the MVP when you got, when it's three to four Hall of Famers on your team? Right? And these Hall of Famers are making an all star game on top of that. And people just can't even understand. They keep saying, "Oh, it's about record. He didn't have Jordan. Didn't have the, he, he. He only won this amount of games, or uh, Will only won this amount of games." Why do you think <laughs> they didn't have three to four Hall of Famers on their team? You guys got to start thinking. I'm not trying to be mean, but you, you sometimes you can't just repeat what people are saying and, and, and take it for. Gold, you you got to stop that. They're selling you some narrative agenda driven MVP race. To me, if you got one Hall of Famer on there on your team, you and somebody else, hey, it seems like you should be the MVP, or it's just you on the team. What do you mean, record? How do you think you got a better record than all these other MVP guys in a race? Because you got all these Hall of Famers on your team with you. It makes no sense. It's about stats or most valuable to your team. Make up your mind. So I'm, I'm not going to bite my lip on this. It is what it is. LeBron James, he has his hand in everything. Make sure Dwight didn't get to the top 75. Make sure Kyrie didn't get to the top 75. It's ridiculous. Make sure Chauncey Billups gets to the Hall of Fame. What? Oh, yeah, they're going to want to put Kevin Johnson in there because that's another Hall of Fame teammate that Jordan faced. Sh Sean Kemp, another uh, uh did I say teammate? <laughs> another player that Jordan had to face in the finals. Sean Kemp, another player that Jordan had to face in the finals. I don't care. I, I've been watching the, the NBA since the 80s. In no way is LeBron, he, he's a borderline Hall of Famer in the 80s and 90s. We're watching it. Go watch, oh, Angry Hoops. 
um, Angry Old Hoops, go watch him. They're showing you that the NBA is rigged for LeBron James and the LeBron James era guys. I, I think he's he, he's making sure more fans go away from the NBA by us watching these videos that he's putting out every single week. And you're trying to tell me these guys are getting paid more money now in record-breaking contracts all year to have to do less or half of what players had to do in the past. Don't have to play defense. Flop around. Carry travel. You hear fans screaming. You hear uh, players on the bench screaming every time these guys travel and carry and the ref is right there and don't call it. What is that? And you want us to believe that the refs ain't rigging up, rigging up games? Record low ratings? Look, I, I, I just don't know. Nobody's mad that Chauncey is in the Hall of Fame, but they're leaving out all these other guys out of the top 75 and out the Hall of Fame. When we talk about bigger names than the Chauncey Billups. I'm not trying to say Bill Lambert was a bigger name, but if, if you're going to put Chauncey Billups in there, you got to put, put Bill Lambert in there. I think Bill Lambert would have more awards um, if he played in a different era. The 80s was tough at the power forward, at the center, um, at the small forward position. So I... I it, it, it's just blowing me, man. It's just blowing me. And this, like I said, this is affiliated with LeBron James. I'm trying to tell you because this guy, Chauncey Billups, worked for ESPN. And ESPN, all them fools, is affiliated with Clutch Sports and LeBron James. All they do is lie all the time in Fox Sports. LeBron ain't the greatest, but he's he's a good father. He's this, he's that. He's, a, he's number two on the Mount Rushmore. What? You're going to say that with a straight face? I'm talking about these dudes that's like 50, 40, 60 years old going to say this shit with a straight face, right? They're going to say it with a straight face. That LeBron is the greatest player, of, the second greatest player of all time. They ain't going to tell you that with a straight face. Melting down, choking, low management, flopping, building super teams, chasing off all the fans. The most hated player in the league. And they're going to tell you this with a straight face with no only two statistical titles in 21 seasons, four and six. All of his finals losses were blowouts. Didn't even go to game seven in either uh, uh, all six losses. They're going to tell you that with a straight face. Didn't bust 30 points per game in the finals until his sixth finals. First three finals didn't average no more than Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant was the number two to Shaq. Right? Go look at it. First three finals. So you guys tell me what you think, man. I mean, uh, people have been saying the Hall of Fame, basketball Hall of Fame is trash anyways for a long time. They're lowering the bar, letting people in that only played a couple years, but was great. And we're, we got to let them in because they got hurt. But they, you know, the three, four seasons, you know, they weren't hurt. They were great. But people played longer than that. And <laughs> they was great for like six, seven, eight years and can't even get in. That's trash. Tell me what you think.